He's not just a former president. He's a defeated former president. Defeated by a margin of over 7 million of your votes in a full and free and fair election. The first time in our history, a president had not just lost an election, he tried to prevent the peaceful transfer of power as a violent mob breached the Capitol. But they failed. They failed. And on this day of remembrance, we must make sure that such attack never, never happens again. You can't love your country only when you win. You can't obey the law only when it's convenient. You can't be patriotic when you embrace and enable lies. Those who stormed this Capitol, and those who instigated and incited, and those who called on them to do so, held a dagger at the throat of America, at American democracy. They didn't come here out of patriotism or principle. They came here in rage, not in service of America, but rather in service of one man. What did we not see? We didn't see a former president who had just rallied the mob to attack, sitting in the private dining room off the Oval Office in the White House, watching it all on television and doing nothing for hours as police were assaulted, lives at risk, the nation's capital under siege. This wasn't a group of tourists. This was an armed insurrection. We must be absolutely clear about what is true and what is a lie. And here's the truth. The former president of the United States of America has created and spread a web of lies about the 2020 election. He's done so because he values power over principle, because he sees his own interest is more important than his country's interest, than America's interest. And because his bruised ego matters more to him than our democracy or our Constitution, he can't accept he lost. We prayerfully walk one year since the insurrection and patriotically honor the heroes who defended the Capitol and our, mock, mock, that, our democracy that day. Let us all here join in a moment of silence in memory of those who lost their lives and sacrificed so much for our democracy that day. here today do not want to see our election victory stolen by emboldened radical left Democrats, which is what they're doing. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. And we fight. We fight like hell. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. Get to see the machines that are crooked, the ballots that are fraudulent, and if we're wrong, we will be made fools of. But if we're right, a lot of them will go to jail. So, 
Let's have trial by combat. Chair declares the joint session dissolved. This is not a land of kings or dictators or autocrats. We're a nation of laws, of order, not chaos, of peace, not violence. Here in America, the people rule through the ballot, and their will prevails. So let us remember, together, we're one nation under God, indivisible.